friend, this is Jake of www.jgcast.co.uk and before I dive into it, I just want to mention that if this is your first time here on this channel and you're new to weight training calisthenics, I would like to increase your pull-up strength in particular and make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll turn ding, ding, ding. to start doing new videos every Monday and Thursday specifically for people like you, my friend. And just to note as well, I've got a special gift for you at the, at the end of this video, so make sure you watch it till the very end and uh, you're gonna love what you see, trust me. And some of these three mistakes I'm gonna highlight in this video of why you may be sucking at pull-ups and plateauing in your strength right now. Don't forget that you don't wanna feel disheartened with this, right? This is based on my experience and my mistakes, and so ultimately, I'm covering these for you and how I overcame them so that you do not have to make the same mistakes or suffer with like mumps or plateaus like I did myself, right? So the first reason why you may be struggling with your pull-ups right now is because you have a weak scapula, right? So if we look at the pull-up, right, it's not just a pull up and down, right? The thing that is most important, that is literally going to set you up for a strong pull-up or a weak pull-up is setting the scapula, right? Because we got to actually set, activate and engage the scapula before we pull up to the bar, right? So this is known as like a scapula raise, a scapula pull-up, right? We can't just pull up like from a dead hang like this because then we're going to lead with the arms and the biceps, which we don't want, right? We want to make sure that we're activating the scapula so we can drive the elbows back and use our back and our lats to a larger extent because they're much bigger and stronger relative to our biceps and arms, right? You can't have a weak scapula and a strong pull-up at the same time, right? If your scapula's weak and you can't properly engage it in the pull-up, your pull-up reps and strength is going to suffer as a whole, right? So you really want to practice and ingrain the scapula pull-up pattern down, right? And I've got a full tutorial on this YouTube channel on the scapula pull-up, which I'll link up somewhere here. But basically, in short, in fact, I'm actually going to flip around so you can see to a better extent, right? Well, see, as I said, with the scapula pull-up, right, it's about setting the shoulder blades together, right? So starting out in a dead hang, you want to start in a passive hang, then retract and depress the scapula downwards, pull the shoulder blades down and back, so you've pinched a pound coin in between your shoulder blades, and return it back to the starting position. So it's almost like a scapula shrug, right? When you're starting out this exercise, you may, you may want to start with just general scapular attractions, right? But it's built like a faster motion, right? It's simply just up, down, up, down. And then as you get stronger, you want to add an isometric pause at the top for one second as so. So like up, pause, down, and then up, pause, down, and then as you get stronger, you can pull up, pause for two seconds, let's say, one, two, turn down, uh, up, one, two. So again, you're gonna strengthen the scapula, so every time you start your pull-ups, it's gonna be bang, bang, powerful reps, right? Another thing you can do with a scapula pull-up as well, is that the further you lean back and pull backward, the harder it's gonna be. So as you can see here, right? Doing just a general scapula like pull up like this, it's gonna be easier relative to if you were to do a scapula pull up where you pull all the way back like that, like an arching pull in, right? Follow me so far. Now the second reason as to why your pull ups suck is because your pull ups are too short and too fast, right? Now what do I mean by this, right? Too short as in cutting range of motion, right? As shown here, right? Most people may think that let's say as they pull up, they go about halfway, but like, yeah, that's a rep, two reps, three reps, and even coming to, to like here, that's still not full rep. Full rep is all the way down at the bottom and all the way to the top. Same with the opposite range of motion, right? You can't just start at the bottom and be like, yeah, one, and then, yeah, two, right? A full rep, a full range of motion is not that, right? If you have to skip and like not actually get your chin over the bar and your clavicle upper chest to the bar, that's not a full rep. If your elbows are not straight at the bottom, that's not a full rep. And what I mean by too fast, that most people, because they try and progress onto the pull-up too quickly, like I did myself, right, is that there's no control over the pull-up whatsoever. So I'll be like, right, okay, come on, Jake, let's do this. Let's do this. I'll be like, pull up, 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 up. Almost like you're diving in and out the water like a damn dolphin. I tell you for a fact, by mimicking a dolphin is not how you're going to get the best gains. Half reps is going to lead to half the results, and then too fast of reps is going to lead to an inadequate time and attention to actually create a strength and hypertrophy response for your muscles to get bigger and stronger, right? So, what you want to do instead is that you want to not only use a full range of motion, right? 
pulling up, wide up onto the bar, and lower down with control, elbow straight at the bottom, right? Repeat this for repetitions, so you're getting the full range of motion, and you're actually doing it with a good rep tempo speed. And if you slow down the reps, because it will be much harder that way, right, by, by controlling the eccentric and your way down from the pull-up, it's much better to actually regress and scale down the intensity of the exercise. And a great progression for that are easier pull-up progressions. And so I'll link a video somewhere up here to help you with that exactly. Now, the last reason why you likely suck at pull-ups is improper exercise and workout programming, right? I mean, truth be told, I mean, you can work as hard as you like, you can work out as long as you like, as intense as you like, but really, if the exercise selection is wrong, the sets are wrong, the reps are wrong, the rest time, the rep tempo, and how often you're actually doing your pull-ups right as a whole, your results are greatly gonna be suffered, right? I mean, at the end of the day, you don't wanna be that kind of person who works a full month for their job hard, grinding, doing overtime, putting in the hours every single day. Then when you turn up for your paycheck at the end of the month, you only actually get half your salary. And that's exactly the same with the plots when you're working harder rather than smarter and not actually implementing the proper principles to get stronger in your pull-ups. So as a good rule of thumb, you do want to be training and progressing towards your pull-ups two to three times a week to ingrain that motor pattern right and get stronger and more proficient at it. In terms of the sets, the reps, the rep tempo and such, again, I mean, I wish I could give you like a straightforward do this and do that, but really the main thing that's going to depend on, right, is the actual exercise progression you're actually doing. Does that make sense? So to use an easier progression, you could do more reps and lower rest. Then a harder progression towards the pull-ups, it would be better to use lower reps and higher rest times. That makes sense. And as I said at the start of the video, I've got a special treat for you as I have been working on some very exciting things behind the scenes. And in the first link in the description below, you'll see some new beginner calisthenics workout programs made specifically by me, where you'll receive custom training plans, at-home workouts, and calisthenics coaching for an extremely high value relative to the actual price of the programs. So again, that'll be the first link in the description below, as I know you will love what you'll see. And for a more personalized approach, by working with me specifically one-on-one -on -one, and holding you to a much higher standard in terms of accountability to further accelerate your results in a much shorter time, then of course you can check out the other link in the description below where you can apply for my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, the Body Weight Transformation Blueprint. Right, so that's it. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love the content, enjoy watching every single minute, every single second of this video, so make sure to give this video a cheeky thumbs up and comment down below. What I'd love to know is what part of this video, which reason did you feel out of the three resonated with you most and what are you going to do to solve that? Comment down below, I would love to know. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share this with a friend or friend you believe would benefit from these gains, and that's that enough for me today. I enjoy the rest of your dear friend as a crew member of the Gains to Express. Keep moving forward. I'll see you in the next video.